So imagine you're the minister of health of a country, uh, and on a Monday morning, you ask your team the following three simple questions. How are we doing on childhood immunizations? Uh, which facilities are having the highest negative impact on our performance in immunizations? And what's going wrong in those facilities? So those uh, reasonable questions should be simple enough to answer, and you'd expect that a minister could get an instant answer from their team. Well, it's not simple at all. To get the answer to those three simple questions involves a six to eight month consultancy, large team going out, gathering data, analyzing through mountains of electronic paper-based data, um, crunching these in big Excel models, synthesizing the findings for the minister, coming back to the minister with either a PowerPoint or Word document report and saying, these are the issues, these are the answers to your questions. And inevitably, as ministers do, they ask you the next follow-on question. So is that the same for TB, the facilities that are not performing? Oh, sorry, minister, we must go back and do another in-depth 68-month investigation. Note that by this point, you've not actually begun to fix anything. It's just, this is what's going on. And because it took you six months, by the time you finished, the issue has already evolved into something else. So your findings are actually irrelevant. So it's not just ministries of health that struggle with having timely at the fingertips information to make the best decisions at any given moment, right? It is private sector players, all of the people in the, develop, in the ecosystem that delivers health or social services, almost none of them have access to the at the fingertips information that they require to make the best decisions. And so what we found is for the most part, people fly blind. Ministries of health, you're really flying blind from the point of view of having information. So what, um, why is it so difficult uh, to gather this information, right? It's difficult to gather this information for four primary reasons. The first is that there's too much data, too much information, too much knowledge out there, and it's fragmented and siloed across multiple sources, everything from electronic to paper to what's inside people's heads. As you can see from the photograph, this is what it looks like. This is what some of the data looks like um, at, 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 at the terminal end. Um, the second reason why it's difficult is that even when you pull the data together, it actually takes an expert to analyze it and actually translate that into on Monday morning, therefore, do the following. Right? And most normal mortals don't, uh, especially politicians, don't absorb graphs and tables and know what to do on a Monday morning. Third reason is that people are used to what they're used to. You're used to PowerPoint, you're used to Excel, that's what you've always done. And even with new fourth industrial revolution technologies emerging, like cloud-based computing, artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, you know, we as a development sector have been late adopters in general, right? And we don't adopt these quickly enough to make a difference. So frustrated by the status quo um, and really bloodied after years, or a decade of doing consulting and answering these questions for people, uh, my business partner and I decided that we needed to do something about it. So what we did was we created a cloud-based analytics platform um, called Vantage that basically links the dots for all the players in the ecosystem and allows them on demand to have access to knowing first and foremost what is going on, where should I focus for the highest impact, and then thirdly, how do I fix the problems when I actually find them. So the system does four things. It aggregates information from across multiple sources, and then it synthesizes them into insights, uh, actionable insights for the decision makers. The third thing it does then is it actually uh, provides uh, tablet and cell phone-based workflow toolkits that guide you on best practice implementation, so you get better, more consistent implementation of the solutions across your distributed teams on the ground. And finally, it allows all of those different players in the ecosystem to collaborate around the best available data so they can all make the better decisions. Early results have been promising. So you know that eight, six to eight months of consulting it took up front to just know what's going on? That is now available in seconds. And it's available on demand at any time based on the best available data for decision makers. The second um, uh, anecdotal um, good result that we've seen is that the average health manager was spending about three and a half weeks of every month compiling reports. And we've been able to cut down that time from three and a half weeks to half a day or less. Um, we've also, for certain, for example, important clinical tests, by being, to really focus where the, being able to focus on where the problem really is, we've been able to cut down, rather, rather increase 
the performance of that test from 32% in one case to 92% in less than six months. And prior to that, the approach would have been we're trying to fix every clinic, um, and therefore you would have never actually achieved that result. Instead, you just focus on the ones that really need the focusing on. Um, and then finally, by being able to actually monitor daily performance of staff, we've been able to shift staff around according to where peak work is and radically improve the attainment of targets. So the question that really I have for the group is as follows. People were used to getting what they were get used to getting. And now that I actually have answers in front of me, um, what we find is the Minister of Health doesn't know now what to actually do with these insights. By having these insights in your hand now, you have to change how you actually do things. So for example, they currently have a monthly meeting where all 100 district managers come and report. But now that I know it's only 10 clinics that are contributing 90% of my problem, do I still need to have the meeting with the 100 people, right? And if I just give you the system as it is, the problem is you'll still keep having the 100 people meeting even though you have the insights. So change management is really critical here. And the question is how do we accomplish the change management component at scale? Do we embed people in the, with each minister initially when you deploy to teach them now that, minister, now that you have this information, this is how you should run your meetings, right? Do we create videos that should train the minister on how to do this and would the minister actually watch them? So really that's the question for the group is how do we accomplish the necessary change management to scale this up um, as quickly as possible?